slogan. To quote Yogi Berra, I just want to thank everyone who made this day necessary. <laughs> Today, Antioch University, Santa Barbara, has more than 3,800 accomplished alumni. And you become part of that group today. I hope you will be you will continue to be a member of the Antioch family through involvement in the Alumni Association. I am sure you are experiencing a great deal of emotion today. You are likely exhausted and exhilarated. You may be reviewing the journey that brought you to this moment. Like students before you, you did not come to Antioch to be transformed by your education. Instead, you probably came to Antioch because you wanted to make a difference. I have the opportunity to talk to many of our alumni, and they tell me that they were indeed transformed by their Antioch education. What a wonderful legacy. The Antioch experience has uniquely and consistently given our students a chance to transform themselves and go out into the community and enter professions and careers that all allow them to make a difference and live lives of purpose. We, the Board of Trustees, the faculty, the staff, and the administration are proud of the accomplishments you celebrate today. And we know that you have made many sacrifices to get here. Many of you were required to take out loans to complete the degrees you received today. Some of you are the first in your extended family to receive an undergraduate or graduate degree. Some of you have completed your degrees not only caring for yourself and your children, but many of you have cared for elderly parents and relatives as well. All of you worked hard, and you deserve the celebration that will follow this commencement ceremony. <clears throat> the faculty, staff, and administration of Antioch University, Santa Barbara, are all gathered today to honor you. As we send you on your way, I look for some, every year I look for some inspirational words to share with you. I did what you were probably doing today. I thought back when I started college, and actually further, because when I look back to my own experience, I think about something my high school counselor once told me. Now, I've told this story before, and um, I was told afterwards that the story was an important one and that I should tell it again. So here I am recycling this story. Um, so if you've heard it before, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, let me preface this by letting you, by telling you that I grew up in the 1950s and 60s, a very different time, and it was a different time for women. My mother was a high school physiology teacher, and at that time it was a rather unique role for a woman. Women were teachers, of course, but they were not science and math teachers. Despite the fact that my mother was teaching science, she never told me that I could do anything I aspired to do. Instead, she told me I could be a nurse, not a doctor. She told me I could be a teacher. But the only reason to become a teacher was to, like her, have something to fall back on. Instead, she told me that I would marry my future, not make it. But back to my high school guidance counselor and what he told me and what I remember as if it was yesterday. He said I was not college material. And when he said it, my ears plugged up, my head felt hot, and my heart started beating really fast. Have you ever felt that way before? But I wanted to go to college, although at the time I was certainly not demonstrating that I was a serious student. 
I was one of those late bloomers. If I had listened to his voice, however, I would be living, even today, with the results of what he thought I was capable of. What I want to tell you today is that you should not let anyone else tell you what you are capable of. I would be willing to bet that some of you sitting here today have experienced that type of message at some point in your past. My, Rus my Russian grandmother used to say, and if I can get her accent right, and I probably can't, that you will be too soon old and too late schmott. <laughs> so be schmott today. Do what you choose. And don't let others' beliefs or voices, let those of my high school counselor, interfere with the ones that tell you that you can do it. Most of you came to AUSB to make a difference in the lives of others, as I've said. Do that and continue to do the same forever. Follow your own dreams, your own aspirations. If I had listened to the words and voice of my high school counselor, I would not have taken any of the paths that presented themselves to me or that I have forged after today, it's time for you to take the next path, whatever that path will be. Like my high school experience, and not, not everything you do will be perfect. You will make mistakes. I make plenty of them. Get over it. Don't be afraid to take those paths. Instead, this has become another tradition, I have to tell you. I keep being asked to say this again. It does help with creating speeches, though. Um, keep in mind some advice, some other advice I once heard from a very wise 900-year-old Jedi, Jedi master. Mind what you have learned, save you it can. 